Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter for Framework tutorial. This is our part number 5 and inside this video session guys, we will discuss that how can we pass dynamic data to our view files. In the last video, we had seen that how can we call our view files inside controllers method. As well as we had discussed about loading of a single file and loading of multiple view files. Now inside this video, let's that we want some dynamic data inside this file. So how can we send from this controllers method? So for sending data from this method to any specific view file, we have multiple ways. So we are going to actually learn step by step all the ways that how can we send our data to any specific view file. So consider this method first, let's say about us. So the first and the simple approach is that we need to define a variable called data which is an array type and inside this let's say we have some key value pair like we have name we have channel and finally let's define one more key that is our email address so now we have a array variable so if I make some zoom we have a array variable and inside this array we have three different keys now we want that we should be able to use all this dynamic data inside this about us page this is the layout same we are calling from this about us method as you can see here so what i will do simply this is an array type or let's say this uh, this is a variable so simply we need to pass this data inside this second argument of this view function now these keys like name channel and email will be available as a variable inside this view file so we can add, use this name key as name variable inside view file this is our channel name so we can use inside our view file is something like this and finally we can use the email address something like this let's say in action go to about about us dot php page let's say that let's define first a paragraph tag here we have name i'm to use php tag and let's say if we want to access the name this is the variable which is appearing inside view file next we have let's say for the channel we have now email now if we save all these changes back to browser let's say index.php and we have the route called about hyphen us pressing enter now as we can see that we have the name value channel value and email value keep in mind these values are the dynamic data what we are sending from this site controller this is the first approach and means most simplest way now we are going to use one of the second approach that is by using compact function of php so what i will do simply if i copy this line make comment of that and let's say that echo view site folder about us file and inside this instead of sending this data variable which is an array type we are going to use compact function Inside this compact function, look at its syntax. The intelligence says that we need to pass the variable name. So how can we pass the variable name here? Is it something like this? No, we need to send as a value. It's something like this. Now as we know that this is a data which is not a value, it's an array type variable. So how can we use this? variable and its value to access the values of something like this its name channel and email address simply 
if we go to about us page now this variable what we have passed inside this function is available as a key means as a variable so inside about us dot php page this time we have data is available as a variable now as we know that inside this data we have keys called name channel and email so how can we use simply these are indexes so we need to use something like this let's say channel and finally here we need to pass email now if we save this change go and reload this page output will be same now next let's say we don't want to use this data as a variable right here inside this view file the same place what we have done previously we want something like this like name channel and email by using the same approach like compact function so how can we achieve that so simply let's say that we want these variables inside our view file so we need to create separate variables here so simply let's say name here we have the name next we have the channel we have email now finally we have three different variables instead of this array so if I make comment of this line now we have three different variables what I will do as we know that compact function takes the variables as the value and it provides the access to these variables directly inside this view file so instead of passing this data array let's say we are passing name here channel here and finally let's say email here now these variables we have passed as a value and this value seems to a variable inside this view file and we can access these values now if you go to view file we have used the same now save all these changes go and reload this page as we can see that output remains same so this is our second approach by using compact function also we have if I make comment of this line and uncomment this data array we have alternative way I means alternative approach of using this data array it's something instead of defining all key value pairs inside this single array we can make array indexes separately so let's say that the first index I will create something like this and inside this I will store the same value what we have stored here again if I copy this let's say the second index we have called the channel name storing this value inside this next we have to copy this email address go and create the next key pasting this value here make this data array as a comment now we have the same data array but keep in mind this is a whole array but here we have separated its key and value and different different lines now again we need to make comment of this line or simply use here instead of compact let's say data now we are passing this data array inside this and the same these values means keys what we have written now it will be available as a variable inside this view file so go and reload this page output will be same so this is how guys we can send our dynamic data to our view file so here we have a question question is that where we can use this concept so simply we can use this concept let's say you have a website 
inside that website we have multiple pages now we want inside each of the page a different title a different description as well as some different keywords so we can pass inside each of the methods so that the dynamic value will reflect inside our few files also in cases let's say we have a dynamic website let's say about our admin panel inside that admin panel we are operating or let's say communicating with the database with all the operations of insert update delete and so on so while communicating with the database if we want to get all the data writing it here inside this method and we can send to our view file all about the database data so these are the possible ways where we can use the concept of sending dynamic data from our controllers method to any specific view file so inside this video session guys if you went out please drop your comment for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day